One zero for the rest of your life. No, Go. Wait. Three, two. Honey bunches of oats. That's why we're married. And I actually was envisioning Honey Nut Cheerios in my head as but I said honey that. Honey bunches but of oats. Fishy cracker, fishy cracker. <laughs> fishy cracker, goldfish, gold whatever. Goldfish, whatever. <laughs> Put down in the comments one cereal for the rest of your life. What is it? I feel like we're gonna get so many cinnamon toast crunches. Oh, I feel like you guys can love go sit down. Cinnamon toast crunch. You guys can go sit down. Honey bunches of oats. Ain't Wait, have you ever had the banana bread honey bunches of oats? Of because course I think I, I have. have the delicious. Food. Yeah. Yeah. Version. Put your hand in the pot. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was hard. Oh, how fitting how to deal with trolls fitting please connect cereal and trolls i am saying fitting from what i'm experiencing currently got it because i'm getting trolled Continue. a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. i posted a video on my TikTok, and i started getting all of these comments about spaghetti tomato sauce and being a witch oh, that. and i was like okay so people, people for those of you who don't know what's that? going on people Ridiculous. heard raven on a podcast where she talked about why don't you explain what you talked about okay so what i talked about was an old wives tale of what some people think southern women do let me put those things old wives tale southern women i'm not any of those any things. of those things not any she's not an old wives tail <laughs> or a southern or, woman or a southern woman and i was saying that and actually it was an ex-boyfriend of mine who said i was doing that tan but whatever oh really yeah he's but he's he wasn't it doesn't matter anyway i said there's some old wives tales that they believe southern women will put their menstrual blood inside a tomato sauce to hook a man and keep them and i love i absolutely adore the human race because they'll hear something and twist it by 2% well, to the and human... change the entire meaning. So you said that. I don't know this. Howie Mandel, who Raven is talking to, plays into it, and then they call me. Yeah. Okay, I'm literally in the middle of working out. My phone rings, and I think, oh, it's funny. Like, she wrapped that podcast really fast. And I pick up, hey, babe, and I hear, hey, it's Howie. And I was like, oh, my God, you're live on the podcast. And I did what any good professional wife would do. A played, professional wife. Yeah, played along. That's true. You guys. So when Howie said, is it true that you put your blood in Raven's pasta? I said, Howie, no one's ever asked me that before. And yes, I did what they even say in improv. You say yes. You, you don't say no. Follow. You just follow. You just do it. So I was just like, yeah, you know what? Howie, no one's ever asked me that before. I do. And people really think that it's serious. It's so interesting how humans can hear something. Or forget it. three words that then in turn changes the whole meaning, changes what is actually said. Yeah. They hear it, they're projecting something, and then they're actually not hearing what the person said. And a lot of people, and you know, we both are guilty of this, somebody will say something and you hear something different because mm -hmm. you're already in your own head about something. Yeah, it's so true, you're so right. And I've been thinking a lot about this because so many people deal with this. Like recently, Julia Roberts was interviewed, I guess, and she's talking about a photo that she had posted of herself with her niece and she got so much hate and people were just like, she's let herself go. She looks so unattractive, she's people. aging. And Julia Roberts is like, I'm a 50 something year old woman. What and she I'm said, rich, though, bitch. <laughs> And, but what she said that, that was really interesting to me was, it makes me sad that so many people have overlooked and have not seen what the intention of this photo was. And the intention was, thanks. Mm -hmm. The intention was this beautiful, sweet moment. Like she's like, I woke up and I was playing cards with my niece who had had a sleepover with me. And instead I'm getting told that I look like a piece of shit. I was like, okay, this is Julia Roberts. And if somebody up here is dealing with something like that, of course the people down here are. Oh, but the trolls don't care who you are. People will watch anything and everything and they don't stop and think like, let's take um, a Super Bowl performance, mm -hmm, for example, mm -hmm. right? People will sit there and they'll go, Oh, Usher was so bad. He sucked. That was so, th they'll give their opinion, but this will be a person who has no expert knowledge of it, doesn't understand. They're not a dancer, performer, choreographer. You don't sit and think how many people 
had to put that work together. How much energy and effort. All we do is just see the surface and then comment on the surface. No one really takes the time to look underneath. And that's, I think, what the trolls do. So I have a couple of things. One, how do you handle trolls? How have you been handling this situation? I know it's not true, so I don't feel defensive about it. There are some comments that will get to me because they hit a chord in me that's real. So people have been telling me that I look like this specific person over and over and over it has affected me. It has affected me and impacted me because I have a sensitivity towards my physical appearance. And therefore, if somebody jabs at it, it's gonna get me. But if someone's telling me that I'm putting period blood in tomato sauce, it's so outlandish to me that I can't even entertain it. The part of me that gets ruffled up is the fact that I guess like that many people think that that's what I would have to do to get you to be with me, that you're not with me because you like me, slash that many people think that you're that much of a numb nut in your brain that you can't fall in love, that you have to be potioned. That's the troll mentality. I can't be seen, I can give my opinion, it doesn't matter because you're putting it out there for me to judge. And technically we are. Anything yeah. that you put yeah. on camera, you have the ability to judge us. But it's up to the people who are choosing to put ourselves out there to have thick enough skin to know that half the people that comment that comment stupid shit are just, you know, bored as fuck. That being said, I remember when the internet first started. Yes, I'm that old. And I remember going on AOL in the chat rooms and just being like, I wonder how mean I can be because Everybody was so mean, but it was hard for me to do because I had a conscience. And a lot of people out there in Trollville, there are no conscience. They feel like karma's not gonna catch up with well, them because it's digital. Well, you know, and e there's a screen in between us. You don't know who I am and I can just spew hatred all I want to because you can't come at me through the screen and you've chosen that celebrity or that person has chosen to put themselves out there so I must be able to just comment. It's a type of bullying, but it's a type of bullying that's also like, that's like a fire. Cause the more you feed it, the bigger it yeah. gets. And it's also a type of bullying that in a lot of ways has been given a certain level of permission because people are like, haters gonna hate, like come at me, you know? Mm -hmm. I believe that everyone is entitled to their opinion. I believe in free speech. I believe that if you watch something and you don't like it, that's fine. If you watch a movie and you don't like the movie, is very different than watching an individual and then tearing down and picking apart that individual. Let's say I'll use myself as an example. When people look at me and they're like, she's Raven's handler. She, th those are specifically, <laughs> those are comments so specifically geared at me mm -hmm. and my appearance, <laughs> sorry, it makes me laugh. <laughs> geared at me. <laughs> All right, All right. Calm down, people. Calm down. They're specifically geared at me and what people are perceiving I am like. Mm -hmm. And that is harder to sometimes sit with than a blanketed like, oh yeah, I went and I saw Barbie and I wasn't a fan. I agree that if you feel like you need to say it, you should say it because of free speech. I do also feel that you have to understand that what comes out of your mouth can hurt somebody else and have repercussions. But if you're a strong mm -hmm. ass beat and you can handle it, then yeah, go ahead and say it. Then be ready for something to come back to you otherwise. Like be ready to then have me come into the comments. What and you about to it. do? Well, I, I sometimes what say- What you about to do? People will say things like, I can't believe you put mm in her mm, and I come back and I say, that is a false statement. So be prepared for me to come back and say that to you. <laughs> So I'm gonna come at you with some. I'm gonna come at you. That is a. F I'm gonna come at you Babes. with some real, real hard stuff. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that'll work. That'll that'll that is, that'll show them that trolls. That is factually incorrect, <laughs> Mister Troll. User one seven two two five nine six. I just want to let you know that that is false. Oh, I thank love you, my Greg. Wife so much. I'm sorry. That is not a factual statement. <laughs> and on that note, let's toast. Let's toast. <laughs> Today I would like to toast to somebody who most certainly mm. understands love and hate and trolls and da da da. Gandhi. Gypsy Rose. Oh my god, Gypsy Rose! Our girl Gypsy Rose! I love Gypsy Rose! She is making her coin and I just have to say, for somebody who has been through as much as she has, which my god, she has been through hell and back, she, she's cool. I'm gonna say something. And she seems really smart and like gotten herself together. I'm I'm proud of Gypsy Rose. I'm so proud of Gypsy Rose. And you know what? I'm gonna say it. Gypsy Rose's life in the beginning of her life was utter hell. 
I truly believe from the bottom of my soul that if she did not go into some type of institutional lockdown, she wouldn't have ended up so cool. After that situation, she went to jail. She had some type of structure. She had routine to help and therapy, I'm sure. And now she's out and she's living a, an assemblance of life that is positive. I'm hoping. I hear you. But, but I hear you. I think that it's what, controversial. I understand because even Gypsy has said that jail to her was freedom, and I think that she did live in such utter hell, and that jail for her was a container mm -hmm. that allowed her also to be an individual where she could just not have to worry about, about outside life and society. Yeah. yeah, and she needed that protection and that healing in a way to come through. And I feel like Gypsy is actually a representation of what rehabilitation in jail could potentially could really look like. look like. I don't know. She's so cool. it's funny because we brought in for our toast a celebrity, yeah. a, a popular oh, po person, yeah. a public figure. Yeah. And even though we're judging them in a positive light, we're judging them. We're still judging them. That's all we do. So, so to bring it back around, everybody's a troll. It doesn't matter if you're yeah. the big ones with the real colorful, you know, rainbow hair or the ones that are living underneath the... the... And if there's ever going to be another movie about Gypsy Rose, you know who has to play her? You. No. I'm not an actress. <laughs> Leah Michelle. You're welcome. Comment down below that you agree with me because you know why in the movie. It's a musical, right? Oh, Leah does have the best voice. No. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, joining us today guys, to the trolls and to the non-trolls. I think we spilled a lot of tea and I hope that we gave you a lot of stuff to talk about in the comments below. Mm -hmm.